Today I'm ranking every single Kanye West song from worst to best. I'm also going to throw in all the songs from collab albums such as Kid See Ghost, Watch the Throne, and also all of Kanye's singles because I did not include those last time. That's almost 100 more songs to rank since last time. My top 20 placements are completely different and they are guaranteed to make you mad. It's been a while, let's get into it. At 198, we have Ham. There is absolutely nothing good about this song. 197, Illis Mother <laughs> a lot. This song is already pretty bad on its own, but the four minutes of silence in the beginning of the song really don't help its case. Uh, does, does anyone know why there's four minutes of silence on Spotify? Am I? Maybe I'm missing something but that shit sucks. 196, closed on Sunday. If you watched my last Kanye ranking video, you know this was my previous last place choice. And I really thought nothing could beat it. But upon re-listening to the Watch the Throne deluxe version, I found a lot of trash. Kanye and Jay-Z made Watch the Throne a great album. And then they were like, let's take a big old shit on that album with Watch the Throne deluxe. Number 195, Drunken Hot Girls. This is probably the most popular last place choice amongst Kanye fans, and I understand why. What you may not understand is the scoreboard going on somewhere on this screen. To scientifically choose which Kanye album is best, I have devised a system. Every song gets a 0 to 10 rating. That rating will be translated into points that will be given to the album that said song is on. Now to prevent quantity over quality, points will only be given for every point above a five rating and points will be taken away for every point below a five rating. For example, if a song is ranked a seven out of 10, that will earn two points for the album that that song is on. If a song is a three out of 10, it will subtract two points from the album that that song is on. So basically, if the song's a piece of dog shit, the album will lose points. And if the song is great, it will add points. Yeah, back to the rating. Number 194, Barry Bonds. This song gives me the same disappointment vibes as Drunken Hot Girls, but it's slightly more bearable. Number 193, OK OK Part 2. I absolutely despise this version of OK OK. I have. Why was this goofy ass version made? Number 192, Addiction. Apparently, it's a controversial opinion to not like Addiction. I still don't like it, but the instrumental is cool. Number 191, I love it. Obviously, this song was gonna be low. You may have realized that all the songs have had a really low number ranking so far. That's because I've decided to make this scale system relative to the artist. Uh, the lowest song is automatically gonna be a zero out of 10, and the highest song is automatically gonna be a 10 out of 10. If this song was on a little pump rating, it would be a 10 out of 10. Number 190, Keep It Burning. Okay, this is the Donda 2 version that he released. It's very goofy. The sample will make you laugh, but the version that Future put on his album is absolutely amazing and one of the best songs of the year, so keep that in mind. Number 189, Christmas in Harlem. It's a failed attempt at a Christmas banger. It's not good. Number 188, Get Lost. This is a cool concept for a song, but there's just not much there. Number 187, Pinocchio Story. I think this song gets a little too much hate, but it's still not amazing. Number 186, Primetime. Again, Watch the Throne Deluxe just dropped a big old dookie on the normal version. Number 185, Who Gon' Stop Me. Uh, Kanye and Jay-Z and Dubstep should never be even in the same sentence. Number 184, Donda, the song. Uh, this song is pretty boring and I've never really re-listened to it that much. Number 183, Remote Control. This was one of the best songs in the first few Donda listening parties and he absolutely slaughtered this song. Uh, one, he took off Kid Cudi. Two, he added the glib glib glob glob and then Three also just, it was like a beachy song at first, and then it turned into this little spacey Daft Punk wannabe song, and I just think it was better off when it was beachy. Number 182, Up From The Ashes. Uh, this song is insanely boring. Number 181, Fade. I hate this song. I know, like, deep down, it is a well-made song, but I just do not like it. Number 180, Lift Yourself. Obviously, this song is very goofy, but if you know the backstory of how it is one of the most clever diss tracks of all time, um, God, I'm such a dick. Oh my God. I just said Lift Yourself was one of the best diss tracks of all time. Not gonna lie, I need to hop off Kanye's meat, but I will stand by this. This is a clever diss track, and basically the short story is Drake wanted to use it, and Kanye was like, oh, okay and then just dropped it with him talking about poop on it. So he just basically publicly wasted a beat that Drake really wanted. Number 179, Nah Nah Nah. This song gets too much hate because the hook is annoying. The verses are fire. Number 178, 
selfish. Uh, X's part on this song is insanely catchy, but Kanye's part is, <laughs> it's really goofy. Number 177, Get Him High. Uh, last time I did the Kanye ranking, I put this one a lot higher because I was scared and I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna fold for, for any Kanye fan opinions. I don't like this song. Number 176, Jesus Lord. Uh, this song would be a lot higher if it was just Kanye's part. Um, it's a little too bloated for me. Number 175, Jesus Lord Part 2. I don't understand why he didn't just put all the features on Jesus Lord Part 2 or Jesus Lord Part 1 and just leave one version just him. Because I really like the song with just him. But when the other people come in, I really just lose my interest. And I think he cut out some of the better features and left them on the Part 2 and left some of the more boring ones on the Part 1. I don't get it. These part twos confuse me. 174, Jesus is Lord. It's kind of boring and I don't really care about it. Number 173, Remote Control Part 2. Uh, this is slightly higher because Kid Cudi's on it, but it still is not that good because he like removed the drums and it's just not as catchy and fun as it was in the first two listening parties. Number 172, that's my bitch. I like the uh, little hook where the where the little kids are singing, but other than that, don't really care for this song. Number 171, hands on. Uh, this is the definition of boring. Number 170, Junior Part Two. Okay, I usually, like in my last video, it was a whole joke that I was hating on Todd Dolla Sign, but he actually comes in on Junior Part Two pretty good. I was surprised, I was like, yo, and then he just started doing some goofy shit again. Come on, Ty Dolla. Please stop, Ty Dolla. Stop doing goofy shit on Kanye songs. I'm sick of it. Number 169, Na 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 Remix. The dirty version of this song that can be found on YouTube is really good. I think the version that he dropped was kind of like whack because they were cussing so much that you couldn't even hear any words because he bleeped them all out. But the dirty version, very good. Number 186, Welcome to the Jungle. Boring. Number 167, Water. Boring. Number 1. 166, the new workout plan. Boring. Number 165, Yay versus the people. Overhated, but still not that good. Number 164, Louis Bags. Uh, very unfinished, has potential, not good right now. Number 163, okay, okay. Uh, the hook is pretty good, other than that, boring. Number 162, too easy, has a lot of potential, but it's nothing right now, pretty boring. Number 161, celebration, boring. Number 160, see you in my nightmares. Boring. Number 159, sci-fi. Now, listen. The song is great. It's sad, it's heartbreaking, the instrumental is there, it's all good. Until Kanye says, when I laid down and gave you this semen, I swear I heard God, the voice of Morgan Friedman. Like, <laughs> what kind of <laughs> is that? Number 158, send it up underrated number 157 i thought about killing you the official song of scaring women away number 156 i'm in it underrated number 155 part two when i heard this in eighth grade i lost my shit i loved panda number 154 i am a god i used to hate this song i like it a lot now number 153 good night uh, this song just got added to spotify but i'm glad it did it's a great song number 152 never abandon your family pretty good song nothing too special about it though i'm not sure anymore more when i'm knocking at my door door number 151 robocop uh this song is very out of the box it's probably the only kanye song where i could understand if you said it was your most favorite kanye song and i could also understand if you said it was your least favorite Kanye song. Number 150, Salah. Uh, the leaked version of this from Yandi is 20 times better, and so that's just gonna make me bitter and put this way lower. 149, everything we need, pretty boring. Number 148, bad news. Uh, pretty catchy, which is weird for the subject matter of the song, but I can't lie, it's catchy. Number 147, welcome to heartbreak. Uh, Kid Cudi and Kanye have set the bar so high, this is just way below the potential of what they can make. Number 146, A God Breathed. This is a modern day Yeezus song. Number 145, Keep My Spirit Alive Part Two. Uh, this is the more annoying version of a great song. Number 144, Facts Charlie Heat version. Uh, I love the cockiness of this song. Number 143, Good Morning. I know this is controversial, but I have yet to see the light with this song. I'm sorry. Number 142, Broken Road. Pretty solid song. Nothing too special, but I like it. Number 141, Pablo. Uh, really the only thing this song has going for is the hook but the hook is so good 
that it carries. Number 140, Blame Game. Uh, Chris Rock's part to me is good. People hate on it and they say it ruins the song, but I like it. Number 139, Say You Will. The version of this with the Mike Dean guitar solo that they played live at the Drake and Kanye concert made me love this song. Number 138, Drive Slow. I like this song a lot. It's catchy, but nothing too special about it. Number 137, Crack Music. Also very catchy, nothing too special about it though. Number 136, Coldest Winter. Um, probably the easiest Kanye song to sing along to. And for that reason, I like it. Number 135, Amazing. All right, let me just tell a short story about this song. I think it was Jubilee or one of them companies that does all them videos like guess the fake blah 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 and one was guess the fake Kanye fan right and my sister wanted to check how big of a Kanye fan I actually was some of you guys probably have seen this video they set them up and the first thing they do is go around and everyone says their favorite Kanye song right and after everyone went through and said their favorite Kanye song I picked out the fake Kanye fan just from hearing the songs they did the whole episode and I was right in the end but the fake Kanye fan said their favorite favorite song was amazing and that's how I knew because whose favorite Kanye song is amazing that like actually likes Kanye nobody nobody there's not one of you watching this video it's like I hope he puts amazing at number one no no one says that and so I knew and that's how I knew I was a professional Kanye <laughs> writer give me my award <laughs> number 134 love lockdown what I have wrote down for this is I like singing this song so that's my commentary on love lockdown I like singing this song. Number 133, Bittersweet Poetry. Um, this song is like not on Spotify, but it's technically released in Japan or something. So I guess it counts. Good song, I like it. Number 132, School Spirit. The dirty version of this, way better again. The bleeping on this song is so weird. Just like the, the reverse, it's weird. Number 131, Slow Jams. The Michael Jackson line is funny. Number 130, Guilt Trip. Uh, the Kid Cudi part brings a tear to my eye. Number 129, No Child Left Behind. Uh, it's impossible to listen to this song and not think of Kanye floating out of the stadium. Let me just say, I went to the first Kanye Donda listening thing, okay? I went to the first one and I was a little disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, wow, this album is completely not finished, wow. And so my friend invited me, he said, listen, let's go to the second one. And you know, it was a four hour drive for me. I was like, eh, I don't really wanna go to the second one. Biggest regret of my life. Okay, the first listening party was low key lame. He was just in a red little jumpsuit walking around, looked like an Among Us character, okay? The second listening event, he came out in the coolest outfit of all time and then floated out of the stadium and like, played like basically had a whole new album i am an idiot for not believing that he would have made it better i'm sorry kanye i doubted you and i paid the price number 128 all mine this song is overhated i remember this one guy he said all mine was kanye's worst song come on man he was spitting facts none of us would be here without come think about it it's true number 127 ecstasy this is a good thought this is a good thong. I almost said this is a good thong. and if you know the subject matter of the song i got six thought i got i, I got six <clears throat> Listen, the iconic line, you got six thoughts, I got four of them. Probably the most overhated Kanye song and I will defend it with my life forever. This is a amazing song. Number 126, Roses. This is not a fair comparison at all and it has nothing to do with anything, but Outcast Roses, way better. Number 125, God Is. Uh, I just like how passionate Kanye is on this song. I don't know, I haven't even listened to it that much lately, but I, you can just feel his heart in it. Number 124, Wouldn't Leave. Uh, this is proof that all women are liars. She left, so yeah. Number 123, Lord I Need You. This is such a sweet song to Kim and she left him. Again, all women are evil, so. Number 122, Junior. Uh, it's too catchy to be any lower. Number 121, Never Let Me Down. Uh, some dude is just preaching on this song and I love it. Number 120, Two Words. I feel like I should like this song more. Like this is, this is the same deal as Good Morning. I feel like it's better than like how much I like it, if that makes sense. I listen to it and I'm like, yeah. That's an amazing song. But I probably like this stupid Kanye song way more. I don't know. Number 119, Real Friends. Uh, Ty Dolla Sign makes this song worse. Ty Dolla Sign is my worst enemy. Ty Dolla Sign uh, killed my whole family and he will pay. 
Number 118, True Love. This song is great. For some reason, when they released it though, they like kind of messed it up a little, but the version they played at the listening event was really good. Number 117, Use This Gospel. A lot of y'all overrate this song because like Anthony Fantano said something good about it. I can tell. Let me tell you what, I don't understand this. I like this song, but DJ Khaled just dropped a Dr. Dre and Eminem remix of this song. And it is so ass. I'm sorry. I, it is so bad. It's Eminem. I'm not a fan of Eminem. And then there's like a dubstep little bit at the ending. I'm sorry. That's trash. Number 116, Ultralight Beam. I feel like a lot of people like this song more than I do, so. Number 115, Freestyle 4. I absolutely love this song, and Go To The Moon by Playboy Cardi would not exist without this song. You can see the heavy inspiration. Number 114, Hell Of A Life. I like this song a lot, and I like the Iron Man interpolation or sample or whatever. I don't want you music nerds to kill me in the comments. It's either an interpolation or a sample, or I don't know what you call it, I like it. Number 115, 13 Jonah. Uh, this song is insanely good and it just proves that Donda deserves more respect as a Kanye album. Number 112 New Day. This song gets me in my feels for some reason even though I don't have a son. Number 111 Mr. Miyagi. This is the only song that Kanye did on Donda 2 that he didn't do on the stem player which is weird because it's like the best one. Future Playboy Cardi Kanye. Super catchy. Please drop it. Number 110 Made in America Frank Ocean carried. Number 109 Diamonds from Sierra Leone, the remix is better. Number 108, Diamonds from Sierra Leone, a remix. Like I said, the remix is better. Number 107, City of Gods. Uh, this song is insanely catchy to me, and I love the Playboy Party ad libs. Number 106, Wash Us in the Blood. When he starts popping off about how they want him to be a calm yay, and he ain't gonna be a calm yay, he's gonna be Kanye. That part is. Oh my God, he goes off. Number 105, We Did It Kid. Uh, probably like the only complete song on Donda 2, but Baby Keem did really good and surprisingly Migos did really good. Number 104, Stronger. It's overplayed obviously, but before any of y'all were like, wow, Stronger at 100, like it's not even in the top 100. Okay, Kanye has almost 200 songs, okay? So if a song is like over 150, it's probably a good song to me. Number 103, Gold Digger, uh, overplayed, obviously. Number 102, Keep My Spirit Alive. Uh, this song is one of the best songs on Donda. I think if they put Tyler, the creator on it, it would have been better, but still great song. Number 101, Breathe In, Breathe Out. Uh, this song is very underrated and deserves more love. Uh, number 100, Follow God. This song is great. Number 199, Cold. Uh, this song is really good and it would be better if DJ Khaled would shut the hell up. Number 198, Kid See Ghost, the song. Uh, Kanye's verse on this goes absolutely stupid. Number 197, Jesus Walks. I think this song is low key overrated, but I still think it's great. I just think some people put it in like top 10 and I would never. Number 190, no, no. Number 96, Murder to Excellence. I think this song is good. I just don't listen to it much. Number 95, Free, AKA Ghost Town Part Two. I think this song is great. Fun fact, I actually did quit my job in 2020 to this song as corny as that is it's true i did it i am a kanye d writer it's certified number 194 on god this song is so underrated it's a great song it's great Number 93, Easy. Um, when I went to the Donda 2 listening event in Miami, they played a few uh, songs that were out like Diet Coke by Pusha T and City of Gods. But when they played this song, man, when he said, so I can beat Pete Davidson's ass, the whole stadium was like roaring. It was such a fun moment. I think the song is great. One of my favorites of the year. Number 92, Big Brother. Uh, it's got some weak one-liners, but I, I still think it's a great song. Number 91, Hurricane. This song is probably the most hyped up Kanye drop of all time. While I did enjoy the old instrumental a little bit more, I kind of like how it turned into like from this little like, oh, this little banger 
to like this whole like freaking weekend singing, you feel like you're floating. Like it just feels like the most like epic version of like a little trap banger we all had saved in our leaked files. So I feel like he lived up to the expectation. He showed the song love and it deserved that love. Number 90, security. This is definitely recency bias. Just right now, this song is just so fun to me. Okay, you can, you can, okay. This is the one placement if you say that that's bullshit. Okay. True, but have you listened to this song in the car? Like, butt naked in the kitchen cooking grits? Like, it's just funny and it's it's so fun. I can't lie, It's I love it right now. Number 89, Monster, uh, Nicki Minaj carries. Number 88, Heard Him Say. This was my most listened song of 2020. I've probably told people that fun fact too many times. People have probably made fun of me behind my back for saying this shit so many times. Number 87, Yikes. I just love the confidence of this song. Number 86, Heartless. The hook is just so goaded, you just can't ignore it. Number 85, So Appalled. This is an example of putting a ton of features on a song and making it work. Number 84, Wolves. I feel like no other artist could make this song. Number 83, On Sight. I love the boldness on this song, and I think that's why I love Security so much, because it just gives me On Sight vibes. Number 82, Hold My Liquor. Great song, great guitar solo. Super overrated in the Kanye community, though. Tons of people put this at number one. I don't think it's number one, but I think it is great. Number 81, Hey Mama. This is probably my most controversial take. I know, last time I put it at 50 and I caught some heat. This time I'm putting it at 81. Understand, there's more songs. If you did the math, it might be a little bit higher. I think this song is a little overrated because we just all love our moms. Number 80, Gotta Have It. Uh, it's a banger, but it's nothing super deep or anything like that. Number 79, Happy, probably recency bias, but Future went insane on this song. Number 78, Flowers. Again, I made this list like two weeks after Donda 2 came out. So you gotta forgive that there's a lot of high Donda 2 placements, but I still think this song is really catchy and really fun. Number 77, Black Skinhead. This song is an absolute banger that I know is like one of Kanye's best songs. I've just never clicked with it like that hard. Number 76, FML, The Weeknd and Kanye as a duo never fail. Number 75, Praise God. I think this is just such a fun song. And my mom listens to Donda all the time and this is her favorite song on Donda, so. Uh. Number 74, No Church in the Wild. Uh, Frank Ocean. Number 73, Liftoff, uh, Beyonce. I'm not gonna lie, that new Beyonce album, man, I've been listening to it a little too much. It's been making me wanna twerk a lot. If anybody wants to have a twerking competition. Number 72, four or five seconds. I've literally heard people say this is Kanye's worst song. Uh, what crack are you smoking? Number 71, Cuddy Montage. Uh, everything about this song is so good. Number 70, No Mistakes. I'm a sucker for Charlie Wilson, so. Number 69, American Boy. I had to put this on here, it's 10 technically not a Kanye song, but it's easily Kanye's best feature and it's so good. 68, first time in a long time. Definitely recency bias, but Soldier Boy and Kanye both went off in my opinion. And for some reason, the instrumental really reminds me of How to Train Your Dragon. I think it sounds so similar to like the main theme of that movie. And I've got such a soft spot for that movie. So I'm kind of blinded by nostalgia and recency, but I like this song a lot. Number 67, The Glory. It's a good soul sample moment on graduation. There's a lot of quotable one-liners on here. Number 66, Jail. Uh, this is a very great song and it reminds me of songs like we are the champion I could just see a whole baseball field singing this song I don't know why but it just gives me stadium status vibes number 65 jail part two all right I'm ready to fight for my life but I think the baby did better than Jay-Z on this song because I don't know I don't know but when this first came out I was just really enjoying the baby's part on this song I just I'm sorry this is a scary moment for me to say this out loud but the baby the baby had a lot to prove you know everyone hated him at this moment and he was like you know I gotta pop off and he popped off you know sometimes you just know that your opinion is wrong but that's my truthful opinion and I'm gonna stick by it Number 64, Pure Souls. Hopefully not the last time that Roddy Rich is gonna be really good on a song, but it's not looking good for men right now. Number 63, Fire. This song feels like you're walking away from a house exploding by, you know, like the cool guys don't look at explosions, you know, boom in the back. Why am I mansplaining explosions? 
Number 62, Lost mm -hmm. in the World. This song is overrated by the Kanye community. Nevertheless, it is still very good. Number 61, All Day. Uh, the part where he says, people saying, yay, yay, take it easy. 100 G's for the Yeezys off of eBay. That part is fire and is completely why this song is so high. Number 60, We Major. Fake out at the end when you think the song is over and then, can I talk my shit again? You know. Fire. Number 59, a New God Flow. One of Kanye's best verses is on this song. Number 58, Champions. Another example of Kanye just putting like a like a busload of people on a song and just somehow making it work. Number 57, Waves. I hate when I have to admit that Chris Brown sounds good on something, but he sounds really good on here. Number 56, New Again. This song is just too real and it's got a lot of sentimental value to me. Number 55, The Joy. Uh, this song, this song feels like you're smoking a cigar in a fancy living room by a fireplace. Number 54, Feedback, uh, the iconic song where he dropped the name one genius that ain't crazy line, so obviously it's gonna be high. Uh, 53, the one about Paris. Um, when this whole, the whole meme surrounding this song dropped. I was like tormented by it. I feel like I was the main target of people asking me, who was in Paris, Andrew? I, I think I had to be the most targeted person by that. Number 52, Bring Me Down. Uh, this song literally made me rethink my life choices and like, like I would not be making this video right now if it wasn't for this song, so. Thank you to this song. I owe a lot to this song. Number 51, Gone. That last verse is insanely good. Number 50, Feel the Love. Uh, the gunshots on this song are a huge highlight for me. Number 49, Fourth Dimension. Uh, the production on this song is insanity and this song is just a perfect banger to me. Number 48, Touch the Sky. This song is amazing. I don't know one person who doesn't like this song. Number 47, Violent Crimes. A moment of reflection for Kanye. Am I gonna get like hated on for calling him Kanye instead of Ye? Cause I feel like on one hand, if I call him Kanye, some people are gonna be like, bro, he changed his name to Ye. But I feel like if I call him Ye, people are gonna be like, bro, don't call him Ye, you don't know him. You don't know Ye. Like, you ever met someone who calls The Weeknd Abel? That's the same vibes. I'm cutting this out. Number 46, We Don't Care. Uh, this is a perfect intro into the world of Kanye. Number 45, Champion. This is a amazing song and I love the Steely Dan sample. Number 44, Blood on the Leaves. Uh, the horns on this song are phenomenal. And when Tyler dropped Run It Up, when I heard them horns, I was just like, I feel like he was inspired by Blood on the Leaves. That's what I, that's the first thing I thought when I heard Run It Up for the first time. Number 43, Otis. Who's arguing with this? Otis is so good. Number 42, Mercy. Kanye has the ability to make bangers that are also just like impressive. Like, you know, you, you think of a banger like Gucci Gang and you're like, this is just like bait to get stuck in your head. This song is just so impressive. Like I remember one time I was showing this song to my girlfriend for the first time and she was listening to the, uh, the bridge from like the normal beat to the Kanye part where he comes in and <laughs> She doesn't even like appreciate music like I do, but she was like just impressed. I was, she was like, wow, that is cool. I was like, I've never heard her say anything about that about music ever. So I thought that was pretty cool that Mercy made her say something like that. Number 41, Street Lights. Everyone loves Street Lights. Who doesn't love Street Lights? Number 40, Why I Love You. This song is so underrated. Number 39, Moon. This song is one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard in my entire life. Number 38, Forever. Uh, I don't think this is technically a Kanye song, but it's just too iconic not to throw on the list. Number 37, New Slaves. Frank Ocean at the end is just so beautiful. Number 36, Good Life. This song never fails me. It is a go-to when you're on Oxford. Number 35, Believe What I Say. This song makes me want to bounce. Number 34, Life of the Party. I kind of enjoy the Drake This version better, but still an amazing song. Number 33, Everything I Am. Bro, this song is phenomenal. Just absolutely phenomenal. Number 32, Late. This song is too good. And that first verse on this song is just amazing. Number 31, White Dress. This song is pretty underrated because it doesn't like show up on Kanye's Spotify page. It's for the soundtrack for some movie. If you have not heard this song and you're a Kanye fan, search up White Dress. It is on Spotify. It is a phenomenal song. 30, All of the Lights. The perfect shower song. Number 29, Heaven and Hell. Uh, this is Feel the Love, part two. So good, so good. 
Number 28, Flashing Lights. Uh, this is a Kanye classic, such a good song. Number 27, 30 Hours. My favorite part of this song has gotta be Andre 3000 just saying 30 hours in the background, but the whole song is amazing. Number 26, Highlights. This has to be one of my favorite Kanye songs and no other Kanye song has grown on me like Highlights. I have a serious appreciation for this song. Number 25, Dark Fantasy. This is such a cool intro to such a good album. 24, Family Business. This song has definitely made me cry before. Number 23, Through the Wire. The backstory to this song just makes it so much more impressive. And the fact that it was really the thing that set off Kanye's career makes it even better. Number 22, Last Call. This is one of the most underrated Kanye songs, man. So good. People overlook it because it's got the whole 12 minute outro, but this song is so good. And weirdly, it's probably one of the only songs that has like a weird outro like that on an album that like I actually tend to listen to the whole 12 minute outro of him just talking about how he made it. I don't know why, but I, I just never skip it. Number 21, Gorgeous. Kid Cudi is amazing on the hook. All the Kanye verses are top tier. The only reason this song is not like literally a perfect song Raekwon's verse I, I like it it's good I just don't think it's on par with the rest of it and I think it drags on a little bit but that's like such a minor nitpick this song is so good number 20 paranoid uh if you know you know this song is amazing. Number 19, Spaceship. Uh, let me tell you, when you have a minimum wage job, this song hits different. Number 18, Father Stretch My Hands Part One. Uh, I always say this, if you don't like this song, you're a nerd, okay? This song is the definition of fun. You're a nerd if you don't like this song. Number 17, Come to Life. Uh, this is just proof that Donda has some of Kanye's best songs. Number 16, Only One. I've definitely cried to this song. Number 15, Reborn. This is a absolutely beautiful song. I love the message, amazing song. Number 14, I Wonder. This song is an absolute classic and I have so much love for it. Number 13, Homecoming. One of the best beats and one of the best hooks of all time. Number 12, Famous. You got Rihanna, you got a Taylor disc, and you got a fire sample. I don't know what else you would want out of a song. Number 11, Off The Grid. Uh, this song is a perfect banger. Like, you could never make a banger better than this. Number 10, No More Parties In LA. Just Kanye just flexing that he can rap. Like, <laughs> wow. Number nine, Can't Tell Me Nothing. This is the most Kanye Kanye song. Number eight, Bound Two. Uh, this was my former number one pick. I, it has fallen down a little bit for me, but I still think it is an amazing, an amazing, amazing song. Number seven, Devil in a New Dress. Rick Ross going off, Kanye going off, and an amazing guitar solo. Number six, 24. This song is very high because I just, I don't think there's any other song in existence that will resonate with you when you're going through like a meaningful death in your life. There is, there's just no other song that can just like hit what you're feeling better than that song. For that reason, I got it at number six. Number five, Power. This song would probably be number one or number two if it wasn't so overplayed. Number four, Runaway. I think this is the most popular number one choice and for good reason. It is super iconic and it's super good. Number three, Saint Pablo. This song has only gotten better with time with me. It's got everything you want. And the last time I said it was 070 Shake singing on the song, it's Saint Pablo. My bad, I'm gonna pronounce his name wrong this time. Y'all are gonna roast me for that, but amazing song. Number two, Ghost Town. Again, this song has only been getting better for me. I absolutely love this song. Easily one of the best songs of all time. And then number one, you're probably not expecting it, but All Falls Down is my number one Kanye song. And I say this because on the surface, this may not seem like Kanye's best song, but the last verse on this song is Kanye's best verse. This is the first Kanye song I ever listened to regularly. And that was a long time ago that I started listening to this song. And this is the song that got me into Kanye. It's always been on my playlist, always. I have listened to this song probably more than any other song ever. And it has never gotten old to me. I can always count on this song. It's super fun, super meaningful, and it's just a great song. Now, the winner of the album race is The Life of Pablo. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna be doing some more ratings soon, so stay tuned.